Hello, this is Anshu Kumar and welcome to Green TV. Today, I am in an exclusive interview with Mr. Richard, CEO Revolution Global from Israel. Though this discussion we intend to share important aspects of irrigation on Indian farming and how Revolution India is working towards the betterment of Indian farmers. So let's start the program and welcome our guest, Mr. Richard. Sir, welcome to our show. Hello, Anshu. My name is uh, Richard Klappholz. I'm the CEO of Rivulis. Um, I've been the CEO of that company since uh, 2014, more than eight years now. Sir, we would like to know more about uh, yourself and also want to like uh, about Rebullish India. Please tell us about the aim, mission and vision of the, this organization. Um, Rebullish Irrigation is an Israeli drip irrigation company uh, among the three largest companies in that uh, segment. Um, to be honest, I'm very happy to be back here in India. Uh, I've been, I've not, I could not come for about two years now because of COVID, but uh, here we are, back to some normalcy, and I'm happy that I can uh, finally come back. Rivulis is a company that uh, has the vision to um, lead the adoption of micro-irrigation uh, globally. Um, we believe that um, irrigation, efficient use of water, water conservation, uh, better uh, use of uh, fertilizers, helps farmers to grow more crop, uh, higher yields and also helps to have a more sustainable um, uh, world planet uh, for uh, us, our children and our grandchildren. Um, uh, Marivolis has many companies worldwide. We are a global company. We have 16 factories uh, in multiple locations in the Americas, in Europe, in Africa, uh, in Asia. Uh, in Australia as well and um, um, we established a presence in India in 2015 and we have continuously grown since then and we are very very proud to be one of the leading uh, drip irrigation companies on the Indian market. How are Revelish helping Indian farmers to overcome the problem of irrigation? Yes, so what we are trying to do, we are trying to, first of all drip irrigation is the most efficient way to irrigate water to plant uh, is the most efficient one. It uh, saves more water, it brings more yield, it uses less fertilizers, it uses less agrochemical crop protection and so on. So by the fact that an international global player from Israel comes to India and helps the farmers in India to use this method is already, I believe, a big help and a big support. Um, I believe that what makes a special is a very, very strong service, a very, very strong agronomic uh, support, best-in-kind products, best-in-kind quality, uh, and a, a great overall service product availability combination for the uh, Indian farmer. How is Revelish different from other irrigation organization because there are lots of irrigation organization in India. Yes, you are right. There are many companies, but um, how many companies in India, for example, can offer a um, satellite-based service like MANA to um, tell farmer, any farmer, when and how much to irrigate? How many companies in India use their own uh, design software, hydraulic design software, to design best-in-kind um, projects for Indian farmers. Which other company in India has a wide array of products, including pressure-compensated uh, drip irrigation solutions? So when you take all of these, we are probably the only one, or among the three only ones that offer such products in India. Um, so we are very unique in many, many aspects uh, in India. So you, you are telling about mana irrigation, so please uh, tell us about mana irrigation, what is mana irrigation and how it is helping Indian farmers uh, in irrigation. Yes, so there are many, mana is an act company using software and is a software as a service uh, company. In India there are many, many excellent act companies. India is maybe one of the world leaders in, in act I will not name the companies but many people know uh, many of them. Uh, MANA is also an Arctic provider, but what people do not know is that globally MANA 
is maybe the largest one and the most common one with uh, tens of thousands of farmers globally using that service. What we essentially do, we take satellite information, we take hyper-local -lo weather data, we take um, very powerful agronomic models on multiple crops, combine all of them together and tell farmers on their land um, with their data, um, very specific, when and how much to irrigate and we do that without the need for sensors in the field. All is sensorless based only. So all what a farmer needs to do is register, mark their land and they get on a daily basis exactly how much to irrigate. It is very unique it is very affordable, it is very, very simple to use, but behind that is the best technology um, the world can offer today. What are the main products you are dealing with? So, our main products are drip irrigation products. Uh, as I mentioned before, regular standard products and pressure compensated products. But what we do is we do everything that comes from the water source, until the, the, um, the plant. Um, so if we talk about system head, pumping, uh, filtration, automation, uh, valves, main pipes, sub-main pipes, everything that is needed to bring water from a well, from a river, from any water source to the plant is taken care of by, by Rivolis. So what are your future plans for Indian uh, agriculture? Yeah, so we are very aggressive for the Indian market. Uh, we have gained significant market share in 2021 and 2020 throughout the COVID time. So we have been present all along. Uh, we have a factory, a very nice factory in, uh, in uh, Gujarat state. Uh, and we have um, added a lot of capacity in the last uh, two years. Uh, and we plan on continuing doing what we have done um, in the last few years. We are especially focusing on what we call small medium uh, projects, what we call the 5 hectare to 100 hectare segment. And um, you can see today in India, in India many, many beautiful state-of-the-art automated high-tech implementation of our solutions and uh, very prestigious. And we are very, very proud about this achievement in India. So would you like to give any messages to the Indian farmers? You know, so I'm, I want to be humble. The Indian farmers are very professional and they know what they are doing. I don't come from Israel to tell anybody uh, what to do. Maybe the only like uh, old man's advice I could give is um, um, in whatever you do, focus on the value that uh, you create by making the decisions that you make. Do not take decisions based on um, uh, uh, government regulations or government um, uh, policies, but do what, uh, what is the best thing that you could do for your own land, for your own farm, for your own crop, for your own family. If you do that, I think that agriculture in India will uh, improve a lot. Sir, as we know that Indian farmers generally hesitate to adopt a new technology, so would you like to give any suggestion to the farmers that they have to adapt new technology and how it is beneficial for, for, the, for them? So, so it is true that uh, farmers in general globally, not only in India, hesitate to adopt new technologies and we can all understand them. The level of uncertainty in agriculture is so high government regulations, climate change, uh, eating habits of uh, uh, the population which change a lot. There are so many unknowns, so many uncertainties that in such an environment you want to stick to what you know for sure works the best. So we cannot blame them. It is not only India, it is global. And our role as a supplier to that industry is to make sure that we remain consistent over time, if you are patient, farmers do adopt new technologies. It just does not happen overnight. So if we are consistent, if we are persistent, uh, even uh, farmers in India, like everybody everywhere else, will at the end adopt new technologies and they do and we see it.
thank you so much for connecting us and give your valuable time to us thank you so much my pleasure to be here thank you very much